Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marn. Welcome back to our course on Beginning Realm on iOS. In this part of the series, we're going to learn how to create ordered, kind of pre-sorted object collections with Realm's list type. Let's get started. This is what a project is going to look like once you have finished this video tutorial. As you hopefully remember from part one of this course, Realm Data objects can contain properties referencing other Realm objects or properties which are its themselves collections of other Realm pop objects. Now, those collections are built via Realm's list type and they're interesting because of number of their aspects. First of all, lists are ordered. In comparison, when using a results type, you're querying all of your objects uh, and sorting them in a certain way. Depending on the amount of objects, you might need to search through quite a lot of objects in there, in your file. That might take a bit. Now, in a list, you would already have only the objects you're interested in because you actively have put them in that list. And they will uh, preserve the order in which you added them into the list. So no need to filter or sort. You can have a number of lists containing the same objects and that will not duplicate the data, will not duplicate the object's data. Lists contain only pointers to existing objects, so creating more lists to the same object uh, costs you very, very little uh, extra space on disk. And lists are, of course, mutable. You can add, remove, or reorder objects in them. Now, all of these combined allow you, for example, when showing a table on screen, to start doing that immediately as no filtering, sorting, uh, fetching and so forth is required to start reading from the beginning of a list. Now as said, the list type looks very similar to a Swift array. You create a new list and provide the object type uh, it's going to hold and you're ready to add or remove objects to it. You can call append to add object or objects to the end of the list. You can call insert with a given index to insert one or more objects in a certain position inside existing list. And finally, you can call remove uh, with a given index or indexes to remove certain objects or objects from the list. Now, as we said in the slides, well, results are great, but if you have to fetch the same objects every time in the same order, it doesn't really make sense to you know, search the whole realm file every single time you need to grab those objects. It's much, much more robust to add them to a predefined list and just you know, start reading from the list instantly anytime you need those objects. And so in this video, we're gonna change how the whole app works. I'm gonna move away from results and use list instead. And I was not saying that results are bad in any way. Results do their job anytime you need to actually search for objects results are the way to go. But if you're working with few lists that every single time you use them for repeating tasks, for example, like our app, you always need to show the messages in the reverse order they were created on the feed to have you control of that. It doesn't make sense to always use results to you know, search through the whole realm file, grab all result uh, message objects, sort them, and so forth. You can pre-sort them and add them to the list and use them right away. So this is what we're gonna do. Go to the user.swift file. And here we're gonna add some new properties. I'm actually gonna put a new mark in here just for fun of it called collections. Uh, and so here I'm gonna add two lists. So these are two initialized empty lists I'm gonna have by default created when the user is created as well. And so messages will be where I'll keep all messages that the user received so that I can instantly start reading from the top and show my table view in a split second. And here, outgoing will be where I will store my own messages, then call the sending quote unquote API. And when my message is sent, I'm gonna move it over to messages. And this will give me control where my messages are. I can read the two lists separately, show them in the different spots in my app. Uh, and so forth and so forth. Okay, let's move on. We need to update quite a bit of code in here to make lists work instead of results in here. So first of all, yes, let's open networking datacontroller.swift and look to the fetch, fetch method in here. 
Okay, in here we just create new messages and just add them, you know, willy-nilly to the realm file like so. They're not really connected to anything at all. And this we're going to change. We're going to fetch the default user and add any new messages to the default user's messages list. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to remove this line completely. We don't need to add this free falling objects anymore to the realm file. What we're going to do is loop over this array of message objects and add them to the user's messages property list. Okay, so you can add a bunch of objects, of course, you can insert them to the messages list as well. But since we need to anyways reverse the order of that little collection, I'm just adding them one by one at index zero. So this will also reverse the order. So inserting every object at index zero, even though not the most performant way when we have these two, three objects here in new messages is not really a problem. The performance train is neglectable. Okay, so any new messages, we insert them into messages. The next step is to, as you saw, it's really easy. We just call the insert method on the list and we're adding them into, and then we don't have to call explicitly realm add on this message object anymore. Inserting into the list will also implicitly add it to the realm file, of course, as well. Okay, now let's move on to feed table view controller so that instead of just fetching a message objects, we read them from the messages list. Feed table view controller. Okay. Uh, first of all, our messages property is not going to be results anymore. It's going to be a list. So here it is, just replace results with a list. Everything is fine, don't worry. The table view controller methods are still working because there's again, count in arbitrary index access implementation to the list class as well as in results, so no problem. The only issue is here, we don't need to be fetching those objects and sorting them anymore. They're pre-fetched, pre-sorted, because we insert them in the list as we fetch them from the internet. So easily just delete all of that line. And in here, instead put in user, default user in realm dot, uh, and we can just say messages. And so we will use the list that we already have in the user class, uh, then we're updating whenever we're fetching new objects we'll use that list to power up the table view. And so we can actually run the app and have a look if everything's working. If data controller is successfully fetching JSON and inserting new objects in the messages list for the current user, and if feed it, table view control is working as nice and showing them on screen. Let's run and ta-da, surprise we have a complete crash. So the, the project crashed and there's a few messages, you know, whenever there's a message, just read through, don't panic instantly and see what's happening. What we're having is try expression inexplicit, unexpectedly raised an error and the error messages, migration is required due to the following errors. Wow, we, we just suddenly have errors. Our list is bad, no, not really. So Realm is telling us, user messages has been added, user outgoing has been added. And so Realm can actually add those automatically, uh, but we need to uh, explicitly tell Realm, add these ones automatically, just do it. You will have a look at that in the Intermediate Realm course for now. Just uh, the easiest way is just to delete the app from the simulator like so. I clicked and hold on the icon until it starts basically jiggling and then I clicked on the X button to delete it. All right, and this will delete also you know, the realm file. So we can just run the project again, and that will install the app again, create a fresh new file with the new structure that we have. So the, the issue was that the structure was, that we used before was one, and then we added new properties. Realm was just making sure that we know that, that we are realizing that uh, the structure has changed. Click a few times on the refresh button and you will see that uh, the new objects are added to the messages list and they're being shown in the table view as well. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Let's move on to the favorites view controller. Here it is, favorites table view controller. You have all the messages in here 
and you're again fetching all of those and filtering them by his favorite. You can do it faster by replacing that search in here with like so. And so you fetch the default user, you grab the messages list, you don't need to sort it anymore because it's pre-sorted. Uh, you only need to filter it and then fetch only the ones that are uh, favorite. And so now we use the list, but our property still results. What, what, what gives? Well, if you've used directly messages, that would have been a list type. But since you're calling filter, that re returns you results again. Now you're going to ask, well, wasn't that what we wanted to move away from? Well, you still gain the benefit of those messages being pre-sorted already. So you just filter them and they're ready to go. Okay. And the final, final step is to go again to data view controller, uh, to the post message method. And here you just add again, a free falling will and only object to the realm file, delete that line and add that new message to the outgoing list. Like so. So whenever you post a message that will be added to the outgoing list, whenever you fetch messages from the internet, that will be added to the messages list. And so in the challenges, you're going to complete that post message method in here. So after a while, you will call the API class and that will move on the new message from outgoing to messages. We don't have the time to look into linking objects in a separate video, but that type is definitely worth looking into. As you learned, you use a list to create one too many relationship. Uh, the list belongs to a certain object and points and or references a bunch of other objects in your round file. Now, linking objects allows you to do kind of the opposite. Linking objects belongs to a certain object and it gives you a collection of all other objects referencing that current object. So in the example on the current slide, you have a property called sent to me, uh, which is a collection of all message objects, which reference the current user in their recipient property. Uh, and with that, the tour of the major realm collection types results list and linking objects is complete. That's it for this video tutorial. And now we have a challenge for you. Your challenge for this video is to complete the code to move a currently outgoing message to the main message list when sending that new message to the server is finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.